<laughs> right, folks, uh, back again. You have no idea uh, what you're uh, laughing yeah, about. I've got no idea what we are <laughs> chuckling away at. Um, back again with Chris, back again with AD Special Guest, a new addition to the BVM stable. Um, so you're a lorry driver or went lorry driving, didn't you, when I saw I don't work now. You don't work now, no, but you went lorry driving. Though. Yeah, went. Yeah. A bit like him. Class one. Were you as good as him or worse than him? In what way? Well, he told us that he was not the best. No, I was lazy. Lazy. But a bloody good driver. I'd you like know to, I'm a good driver. I like to think. I mean, I did enjoy it. Yeah. I really did. I really enjoyed oh, it. Hey. Oh, what's more, Pepperama. So, oh, that's it. as long as you enjoyed it, I just wanted to see if compare you drivers. Yeah, I'd say I'm probably better than him. Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, as Chris is here and as you can see is some kind of temple, um, we're going to review a few of the healthier foods that Chris munches on um, to help him through his life and get this uh, physique that he has got now. Uh, what are we doing then, Chris? What are we reviewing now? They're similar to digestive biscuits, but with half the calories and half the sugar. Does that mean you can eat more then? Well... <laughs> you can, but you... It defeats not, the object. Yeah, completely. That's a um, stupid thing to say, Dave. But these are so... I'm so used to having these that I actually prefer these to normal digestives. Right. Um, Where did you buy these from then, mate? You can get these from any supermarket. Morrison's, uh, Audi. The problem is, bloody Morrison's is expensive now. So we're going to start going Audi. They're all Isn't expensive. It? They're all expensive. Shops are just... Putting the bloody... Taking advantage. They are taking advantage. And fuel but ain't it, even gone up a lot yet. Although it is well, it going has, up. It's gone up. Yeah, it is going up. One pound seven. So, so how much were these, mate? They were one pound 85 pence. One pound 85 pence. What I'm going to do is take a picture of that so I can put it on the uh, description. Because uh, that's what you need You'll to like do. You'll like this, baby. What bit? <laughs> the whole of it. <laughs> And, and, do you like digestive biscuits? Yeah, I like to dip them in some tea. Yeah. yeah. Is that a I like chocolate digesters. Yeah, but they're fattening, isn't they? Yeah, but well, I'm not bothered. Because uh, <laughs> you ain't put any weight on from the last time I've fucking seen you. All right. Show them, AD. Thank you. David? Yes, thank you. <sighs> So they smell like a, with it. They smell like a digestive. Yeah, because they're baked really well. They ain't bad, are they? I told you. They're not bad at all. You can't really tell the difference. You can't. No, not really. Yeah, I could definitely have a cup of tea and mm. take half a packet of these. What, so, now, so what's the difference? So what is the difference from these, which are obviously... These are sugar free. So what they use is an alternative, and I'll quickly show you. I'm not making this up. Chris has got everything here. Use that. Stevia. Granulated sweetener. And that's what you use, folks. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't have to have sugar. There's so many different alternatives. So you sprinkle that on your cereal and stuff like that, put that in your tea, or do you not use no sugar? No, I don't have any sugar. There you go. No. See, I, I, I just don't like the taste of sugar. I can't do that. I cannot have a cup of tea without three sugars in it. Really? Yeah. I, I can't, I just can't stick tea unless it's got a sweet taste. Coffee the same. Mm. Do you have sugar? I have sugar in the coffee and none in tea. Yeah, she does that. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? June's sitting out there. How many sugars do you have? Two. I don't have any sugar. I just don't like the taste of sugar. At all. But what I do do, once I, I'm not making this up, once a year, I treat myself to fish and chips, mm. and a little chippy, and I put on salt and vinegar. Mm. That's the only thing I'll have. So you only eat fish and chips once a year from a chip shop? Yeah. It's a big tree. Street. Yeah. That's a good, um, that's some discipline there, mate. I just don't really like junk food. 
No. Well, you never have, have you? No. I said this in the last um, one of the last bit reviews we did. One of my first memories of Chrissy was eating about eight jars of baby food. Mm. Because I said, what are you doing? He says, well, you don't feed a baby shit, do you? I thought, yeah, you're right. And that's, yeah. So you've never ate, about, do you eat crisps? Those. Apart from them, which is what we're going to review in a bit, folks. Now and again, um, if I have a bottle of red wine, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll read Jackson's cupboard and I'll have some hula hoops. Um, yeah, I mean, crisps with it. I only have crisps with it if I'm drunk. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've just not, not into that sort of food. Yeah, I, can't, I love it. What about you? Do you like all crisps? And... Yeah. 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 The thing is, Edie's got such a fast metabolism. Yeah. You always have, haven't you? I can eat it. You know, uh, the boogles, is that what they're called, boogles? Sorry. Like a... Uh... Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. The walkers things in the yeah. big packet. I can eat Google, them. I can eat them just... Oh yeah, yeah. it's a lot of cylinder. Yeah, yeah. So, oh. so I could eat, eat just like that. So could I, but the trouble is I actually keep it on. I, not, I mean, it's, I just can't lose weight. Obviously I do lose weight because I've you stop eating so much, yeah. but I can't. Once I open something like that, I can't stop either. So, so if I gave you, let's say, a pack of Jaffa cakes, gone. Oh. You wouldn't eat three. No, they'd be gone. But oh, wouldn't you prefer to have three and say to you on a Saturday and say, oh, on Wednesday I'll treat myself to another three? No, you won't do that. No, I can't do that. Do that. Yeah. Really? Yeah. They're the sort of things yeah. you've got to eat yeah. and you just don't. And then if you get these digestives, if that's for me at home now, I'd go and get the strawberry jam and put a dollar for jam on that. Oh, that's so all the sugar that you <laughs> and make a little biscuit sandwich of jam. Right. You're thinking of that now. I might try it. There's some jam. Not <laughs> So what do you think? You can have another one by the way. Yeah, go on then I will. Do you another one, Eddie? They're nice. I definitely could have another one, yeah. Double <laughs> So, what would you rate this out of 10? I'd rate... I'd say they're just as good as digestive. Yeah. So you're saying 10 or not? Yeah, yeah. Give them a 10. That, you know what you should have done? You should have given us a plate of these and a plate of normal digestive. Oh, yeah, see if the difference. Mm. Yeah. I think these, I know this is going to sit, I think these are a little bit drier for a digestive, but you wouldn't know unless you were really looking for it. But these are all right. Yeah. In fact, so my recommendation, folks, is do like crystals, um, sack the normal digestives and go for the uh, healthier version. Zero O. Yeah, definitely good. Mm. Yeah. What are you looking at? Some other looking back. Right, you leave Adi alone. <laughs> good stuff. Good stuff. Um, these are lovely. I I give these ten out of ten. Mm. They are good. Think? Yeah, they're really really good. I'm impressed with them. Well, so, um, how are you getting on with the uh, videos that we've been doing? Do you like the comments and that coming through? Yeah, there's been loads of positives. Obviously, there's uh, a couple of nasty ones. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They weren't really nasty. No. Um, no, ninety percent of the comments were good. Mm. And no, they were, weren't they? I've enjoyed doing it. I think it's it's fun. Mm. Um, yeah, it's good. I like it. I've enjoyed it, and I did enjoy the comments coming through. <laughs> and it is funny reading yeah. the comments. I must admit, I was expecting a, a load more negative ones than that we actually received. But we didn't, did we? No. No. I know some people are moaning about social distancing, but it just it's happened it, it just happened didn't it that time yeah. and you know we did we, we our hands were washed Chris was washing his hands when I walked in and all that kind of thing yeah, in fact you just reminded me yeah. Yeah. Spray. Yeah. what's that yeah what is it hand sanitizer really yeah spray what okay. I'll tell you what that's good because it doesn't smell like the cucumber stuff that we're coming to do this next week it ain't got a smell. It doesn't, has it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's not. You can't smell anything. It's good. It's a spray one. And it don't leave a, a tacky on no, your hands, does it? It's no, not. like it's sticky. Is that an healthy version as well? Um, <laughs> With no sugar in that. Yeah. No germs. Yeah. No germs. Uh, you the other see? day, I was talking to a bloke in our QC room, Mickey, and uh, his wife actually bought some some kind of sanitising gel and it's actually said guaranteed to kill Covid 
But yeah. this was before all this COVID-19 come out. There again, COVID's been knocking around for years, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, there it goes. But, uh, yeah, good stuff. So yeah, it was. Um, I really enjoyed doing the last few videos, really, and um, like I said, I was, I was dead chuffed that we didn't get any stupid fucking comments coming through. Because yeah. people like that can actually, not that it would ruin your confidence, but it can ruin a person. But it could confidence. ruin my career. <laughs> In lorry driving. Lorry driving. <laughs> uh, yeah. Right, we'll leave that one there then. Uh, we'll do another review of something healthy. Okay, see you later, folks.